<laughs> you know the the way the words are you have to play like that i know the words are so dumb <laughs> Good morning guys, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm making a change. I have a hair consultation today, I'm really excited. I have got to get rid of this red. I think I'm over the red hair girl era, only because I feel like the whole world has red hair now. When I originally had it, not a lot of people had it, and that made me stand out, helped me create my identity. And I also really like how it looks on me, but now the whole world has it. I feel like I don't need the red hair anymore to help me stand out, because I feel like my personality stands out for itself and the work that I've done. So. You know, it's time to change up the hair color. I'm probably gonna go back to red, let's be real, guys. I absolutely love it. Out of like our whole circle and everything, and I'm the only one with the crazy hair color, but I'm getting tired of the work that it takes to maintain the red hair. So I don't wanna have to keep wearing gloves when I wash my hair and have to clean the tub as soon as I wash my hair or have to sleep with a black pillowcase because I only like white bed sheets, but then I have to have that one black pillowcase because I stain white bed sheets with my hair. Or I don't I wanna be able to go into a swimming pool. And be able to come out with like red hair dripping people are thinking my head's bleeding so red hair comes with a lot of work if you guys don't know if any of you plan on getting red hair just think twice before getting it i've also been reading a lot that when you have red hair it's hard to get rid of the red so i want to change my hair color and not damage my hair at the same time but my hair is uh, needs a little bit of love you know so we'll see what the salon says it's a salon in shortage it's called foster they specialize in coloring intense hair colors so they use bleach a lot but they also use use things that prevent your hair from getting damaged when they use bleach so obviously if you use bleach is gonna get damaged no matter what but there's still things that you can do to bring some life back into your hair that's what's happening today I'm getting ready I'm catching the train at 8 45 I'm taking the train it's gonna take me an hour to get there because I live on the outskirts so let's get ready So I tried the Millie, who the hell is Millie? I tried the Mary Phillips, pretty sure it's Mary Phillips. Her makeup technique of putting on the contour and the concealer and blush, liquid blush first, and then putting foundation on top. I mixed my foundation with some moisturizer to make it very sheer. And honestly, I have no powder on my face or anything, no color corrector, and I kind of like it. I feel like the key is to get a concealer that kind of conceals your darker areas that you want to highlight, but not use a very light colored concealer. Do you know what I mean? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it has like a hint of orange in it which I feel like kind of corrects the darkness under my eyes a little bit I guess it depends on the lighting as well but I feel like it looks good here it could look completely different outside in the daylight sunlight environment but this is what it is I kind of like it because it was really quick and easy to do it took me about 10 minutes because I was making a TikTok so want to see go check it out on tiktok i like it it was really easy to do just wore a lip liner did my eyebrow on this one spot only added some mascara and that's it so let me know if you guys like it if you want a tutorial on here i can do one if you want to just check out tiktok and see what i did you could totally go do that as well so i'm gonna eat something really quickly and head to the underground station to catch my train up ready for hair wash day i'm gonna let it marinate all night and then wash in the morning i usually sleep with like a towel on my pillow so i don't get oil on my bed sheets so i just try to leave it on for as long as i can because my hair needs a little bit of love after vacations but let me update you guys on how the consultation went so basically so what they did was they took two strands of my hair within my hair they took it in a way so that i wouldn't notice it's missing kind of really sneaky in fact but they took the strands so they could do a test run on how my actual hair would turn out depending on the results of my test 
less strands. Instead of like damaging my whole head, might as well test it out on a piece of hair than all the hair. But the conclusion that arise from this experiment is that if I colored my hair the color that I want, right, then my hair is gonna end up looking black. And if I wanna color my hair lighter than it is now, then those pieces are gonna end up being a dark red. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm not a professional, but I have gone red to blonde in one go. I have gone red to gray in one go. I've never had a problem. And I would feel like those are harder colors to achieve because they're so like complete opposite spectrum of my hair. So I'm just like a little confused as to why this person said that. I mean, they probably just said it according to the results that they got, right? So they're just doing their job, but I'm just so confused because that's never been a problem before in the past, you know? This pen, I've had this pen for such a long time and I haven't used it. So I'm trying to use it now, okay? But anyways, back to what I was saying. So I'm gonna wait till I go back to Toronto in a couple months to see my hair girl, the one that made my hair go red to gray and see what she has to say and what her thoughts are and how her test run works out and stuff and go from there. So in the meantime, I keep playing with this pen. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna touch up my hair. Like I'm not gonna do my roots and I'm not going to put color depositing in the shower to make the color more vibrant as I usually do when I wash my hair. I'm gonna let it actually fade. And the person that I went to go see at the hair place did say let my hair fade a little bit and then we could try again. So maybe, by me letting my hair fade my results when i go back to canada and see my girl will be a little bit more different so we'll see i'm just gonna let my hair breathe i'm gonna like try to make this healthy as possible in the meantime and yeah so i am not coloring my hair anymore and i will still have red hair for a while oh yeah and he said that if i do color my hair the color that i want to color it the chances of me going back to red are very slim i won't be able to color my hair red again for like years years and years whereas normally if i colored my hair like gray or blonde i just had it for a year and i color my hair back to red again so that is something else to think about as well so do i want to have the availability to be able to go back to red if i wanted to or is it time for the red hair era to end those are my predicaments that is the conclusion of my hair consultation but that's how it went i'm going to take it as a sign from above that i'm not supposed to color my hair yet so it might be a rash decision that i'm having because i am deep down in my subconscious mind going through something that i want to forget about so i want to color my hair which is usually what happens but maybe this is the universe telling me Malib, take a breath think about it this is not a drastic decision that you should be making so i'm going to use that as my reasoning and continue doing what i'm doing
basically if you guys didn't know my father-in-law can play literally every instrument in the world and he just susses out the keys and the notes so he can hear a song and he can just play it according to the tone of the song so he just knows what key it is so basically i get my father-in-law to teach me the song from Kush Kush Hota Hai. it's gonna be um a little difficult because i have a tendency of forgetting notes very quickly so um let's see how it goes <laughs> Actually, song should be you know twist kar de na us the song is actually song the way they sing it should be like that Sota hai. Sota hai. You, you know the the way the words are, you have to play like that. I don't know the words, that's a problem. <laughs> doing my hair like this but anyway so i've been reading this book recently false witness i've actually been reading this for a really long time now i just haven't gone around finishing it it's a good book don't get me wrong but it's hard to read more than one book at a time even though that's my goal but i try to do it when i can so i just try not to be hard on myself i went to the gym today and i had a leg workout this is the next day by the way and i had so much energy i don't know where it came from i was still sore from last week's workout but yo the records that i hit today for myself i'm so amazed like what rest can do for you like when you rest you can push more more. it's crazy you think you think if you're too tired you won't be able to but your body is so weird if you're eating right or say you have extra calories or you eat a bit too much the day before your workout use that energy to push harder in the gym because you have that energy use it as fuel and push through the following workout the following day don't feel bad about it just use it as energy it's time of the day where the makeup's gotta come off and the hair needs to be washed i still didn't wash it. i left it overnight because i'm like let it just marinate a bit so i slept with the towel on my pillow and i'm gonna wash it all up now let it air dry a bit and then try to put in some braids before tomorrow and i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching remember to always stay gold and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.